or do you use it all on, on site here? So yeah, we're, we're very much at the, the still, I would say ground level, you know, we're, we're, we're at the, the building uh, stage of developing the market. Yeah. Um, so and, and, and developing new products as well. So what we're making today is mozzarella. Um, we do also, and look forward to letting you sample some, it is buffalo milk makes amazing ice cream. So. Oh my goodness, we saw this and I was like, I, I have no idea how that's going to taste, but I am so excited. I think it, it really does, the, the creaminess of the buffalo milk comes out in ice cream really, really well. And uh, so, well, I'll let you be the judge, but uh, <laughs> I'm pretty biased. Uh, but obviously, the big thing for us has been about making mozzarella. And, uh, yeah. But as you can hear from the echoes and the sides of the building we're in just now, we, we have kind of built this with quite an ambitious plan for the future. Um, and that's relying upon us developing this market and getting mm -hmm. the product. So we're, we're very close to being listed with a supermarket, um, wow. which is pretty exciting. And will really then allow us to start ramping up the, the volume, mm -hmm. but both from a production and from a just getting the herd established into milking routines, we're, we're, we're kind of, it's mm -hmm. been a big steep learning curve over the last, uh, it's almost a year. Um, it'll be a year in June since we've, um, started making mozzarella. Mm. And do they, this sounds a silly question, and I'm meant to be from a farm, do you milk a buffalo like you milk a cow? Yes. So it's give or take the same process? Very, exactly the same, everything really. Um, we, we, we have quite quite a unique parlour, but um, only because it, that was, I, I felt it suited the buffalo's nature better, so the individual stalls, um, because one thing about buffalo is they can be very stubborn. Right, okay. Uh, very intelligent, but if you um, if they're not happy or they're not, they, they just won't let their milk. Whereas a cow can't really yeah. refuse to give you milk. If a buffalo, if she's not in the, you've not yet, yeah, uh, she just won't let her milk down, and that's obviously a disaster. Um, yeah. So it's all about getting them really relaxed. Uh, both with the, the, the environment and the people, so yeah. they can sometimes they, they, you can they get very used to the people. Um, but uh, no. So here oh. comes the bowls of mozzarella. Oh wow! Look. They look great, don't they? They look fab. Well, there's the, the lovely white shine, mm -hmm. um, and it's. One makes it look quite easy. It's quite scientific. It's quite process driven. It's all about temperatures, mm -hmm. timing, um, pH. You know, it's, it's a little bit like quite, there's, there's a lot to it. And I'm saying it like I know it. I, I'll be quite honest. I've stayed with certain jobs in this whole that I've had to delegate completely. And, yeah. and, and to be quite honest, the cheese making, very, very, very lucky to have Juan here to kind of lead that and uh, I'm, I'm using all these words like I know exactly what I'm talking about but <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so what happens next after it comes in here? Obviously so Juan's... Juan's transferring them into what, his brine tank which right. is basically the only ingredient apart from like the rennet, mm -hmm. uh, vegetarian rennet to, and the culture is, is salt. So it's in mixed in with, so it's a salt water basically. Mm -hmm. The, 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 they go into this tank, they're in that tank just to, and it, it kind of just uh, partly for um, pr preservation, so we get the shelf life, and, mm -hmm. and then is that right? We, why you, you have them in the tank for about two hours before you pack them? Is that right? Yes, that helps. Uh, that's salt basically. So what it does is help the mozzarella to get a little bit of flavor and also help to preserve mm -hmm. the mozzarella. See, I do know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's only taking them 20 times to teach me that. <laughs> no, but so it goes in there, and then while I'm right, then the, we're currently putting in a tub, but we're about to move into a pouch, um, which is uh, in, very imminent. But in the tub, we, we put the brine in as well, but you a lower concentration of salt. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more uh, diluted, so it's more watery than, than this main brine, uh, so which also, again, helps to take that salt flavor no? mm. in a way. Because we, we don't want it. It's just getting that balance right. The salt, like, I, would it be, yeah, mozzarella should have this a little bit, sort of, almost a sour kind of, just not quite, but, uh, and then, the, and I think 
from listening to customers and stuff, they don't want it overly, it's just getting that fine balance, but it's yeah. so, oh, you know, we all love a little, mm. so, I mean, it's still incredibly healthy, but it just gives it that, and then what's really important, because it's our biggest challenge with the mozzarella, we only have a, and we've had to work quite hard to even get to 21 days of shelf life, um, to get that out to the public and then to be able to use it and enjoy it, you know, it, it, it's, it's quite a, yeah. a time bomb, if you know, it's so, mm particularly when you're using distribution, et cetera, to, yeah. to help. And do customers like the story of obviously having it milk here, it hardly travels any distance whatsoever. Obviously, it's a real kind of, I'd say a concern for a lot of consumers, kind of food miles and that sort of thing. Have you been able to kind of use that story as well? Do people like it? I hope so, because we've built our business around that whole, you know, that's what we're trying to, you know, mozzarella is, Buffalo mozzarella has never been made in Scotland until now. Which is fantastic, yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. And yet it's a product that we import and consume. It's most, one of the most fastest growing cheeses being consumed in the UK. Um, so and I'm hoping when you try this, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but um, that you'll, it, it, it's the freshness mm, is what yeah. makes it so good. So yeah. by cutting out the food miles, by making it here, our product has to be like, yeah. I will, I've got a lot, I don't want to sort of, uh, but my ambition is to be better than Italian because, you know, and, and, and the, the, by giving the customers a fresher product. Yeah. I'm not all that concerned about being exactly the same as the Italians. I want to be authentically Scottish, you know, folk are like, oh, I can I buy a desert that. Red. I love that, I love that. I'm like, well, mm. you know what, we've got our cows here, they're eating Scottish grass, I yeah. love how we've got them, you know, and, and we make a, a really good silage for them. This man's got um, oozes passion for what he's doing and, and so good at what mm. he's doing. Like our product is going to be a Scottish mozzarella. Like okay, it's a t you know Italy was what made it famous, but like hey, there's nothing Great better idea. than nicking someone else's good idea and making it better. <laughs> I um, love it. That's yeah. been my philosophy. But you can business. you can just hear your passion. Everything that you're saying, you just you love what you do. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's like, what am I doing? What am I setting myself up for? And oh my God, so it's nice to do something like this where yeah. you can remind yourself like what we're, we're, we're trying to do. Um, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, the pressure is really on us right now to, yeah. cause we made the investment. COVID's been quite difficult to navigate through it, to get the sales going mm. we want, get, get just this equipment and actually the training and stuff to actually work it all because you can imagine it's all it's all you know it's not stuff that's made in these you, so we've had to it's been tough yeah, bloody, yeah. hard work um, but we're getting there and it feels really close that we're, we're about to hopefully get start getting some momentum to get these balls rolling um, <laughs> get these balls rolling brilliant <laughs> so we'll call the video <laughs> Oh wow. That's fab. And then in terms of training, because I think one thing Lizzie and I talk about a lot is jobs in agriculture. And yeah. it's not as one dimensional as, as people people think. And actually this to me looks like quite a technical machine. There's like quite a lot going on. There's a lot behind the science of actually getting to this finished product as well. So basically hopefully if people watch it, they can see there's more more to there's agriculture. More to it. Just yeah, and, and the bureaucracy and the, 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 the food safety side of things is you know um, what we're in here just now is we're salsa approved. We're aiming for BRC, which is uh, um, these are um, sort of food safety standards that mm -hmm. we, are basically a minimum for for getting into set, supplying the mul multiples. Yeah. And you know there's a lot to that and all the yeah. processes and. and, and, and uh, it requires real discipline and requires real knowledge. So we, as a company, we've had to go and employ somebody who's now, that is his job, yeah. technical, you'll probably see him around, um, probably give, be ready to give me rounds for something I've been wrong. <laughs> but, uh, and he is my boss, because we, we, you know, we need that discipline, we need, because yeah. we can't let that slip. Um, food safe, like our reputation is everything, 100%. our yeah. consistency of product, our, and yeah, it's not just happened, we've had some crap mozzarella. I think <laughs> that's so important though, because more often than not, consumers see the end product in yeah. the supermarket, yeah. and then they occasionally think about the farmer in the field, but the process between the field work to the end product is And I think is vast. sometimes as farmers, we maybe 
quite quick to jump on and criticise all oh, the producers. Processors are making all the money. This, the retailers are making all the money. Mm. But you, when you do what we've just done here, you always realise these guys are doing quite a lot for the money too. There's a lot in it, yeah. you know, to, yeah. to, to, to get it right. And I mean, I'm ambitious here. This factory, we we, we actually take hope that sales will get to a level where we're bringing in milking partners. Um, I, I don't intend to, to grow our herd and keep growing, you know, I would like to keep ours as very much a show, showpiece herd and encourage good dairy farmers to start milking buffalo okay. and, and supplying us with the milk because when you talk about, you know, education and training and, 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 and trying to find goods actually the yeah. easiest thing is to take, probably take the buffalo to the farmer than try to for me um, and, and let them and, and make sure that we've developed a product that we can charge the right price yeah that there's a good enough margin for me to do the processing part but also pay for that liter of milk uh, that, that will all work and I'm really determined to be a price setter, not a price taker, and all my communication with the, the, the you know, and it's easier said than done, because right now I'm desperate to get volume going, and how do you get volume? You cut the price, but like, and sometimes when actually, but I've got to stay firm with my pricing because we, we, otherwise I won't leave enough room to bring these guys in mm. when we're once hopefully that that's where we're going to get the scale and the volume to. So we're not just talking to one supermarket, we're hopefully Buffalo Farm Mozzarella is going to be on the shelves of all the multiples within, well, at least Scotland, but uh, who knows? Yeah. Yes, yes who definitely. Knows? You might even have to get some down England. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll buy the Yorkshire flag for some. There we well, go. Is it, is it TV services? Do you stop oh, there on your truck? You guys do we'll a lot of travelling. Mm. We'll have to go. Ah, uh, well, yeah, no, I was very honoured to find It's great, it's a real buzz when you go in and find it somewhere that... You're uh, like, that's mine. Yeah, no, it is. Amazing. Well, not mine, it's, it's, it's ours, you know, it's, it's, it's what we kind of... It's my dream originally, but I'm so reliant now and we've got a great team Indeed. around us. And, uh, but so, keeping these guys, uh, you know, these, these are little milestone moments that hopefully motivate and inspire yeah. and, and, and keep us, uh, yeah, give us the reward for the hard, hard work. I'm going to have to try some, definitely. <laughs> oh, it's compulsory. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, you're definitely going to be trying. You're not going to be allowed to. When is the best time to try the mozzarella wine, do you think? Uh, some of the mature stuff rather than, or? Are we going to rip one open? Oh my gosh. <laughs> gosh it couldn't be fresher. Couldn't be fresher, so. It looks like a little boiled egg. It's quite firm, mm. yeah. squelchy. That looks firmer than almost one you just buy. Great yeah. for dodgeball. <laughs> Uh, so, in my learnings of mozzarella, it should be like a chicken breast. It should sort of tear. tear like yeah, yeah okay. so you get the, the. So, we'll do this much more professionally in the, the calf and do a proper bit. See that? that sort yeah. Of, oh, okay, yeah. So, you, it's kind of almost like a muscle, and see that lovely skin? Yeah. That's what that's. So, it's actually perfect. And then when you squeeze it, we should be getting milk dripping out. Oh, oh wow. And I would say you definitely don't get that on stuff that you would buy kind of every day. Uh, no, 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 definitely. To say that? De definitely not. Thank so you. there's a sorry, this is very Amazing. Very agricultural. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm it's a bit farmer in it, yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh. I think that tastes completely different. That is different. It is. I call it chalk and cheese. That is so tasty. Like there's such depth to it as well. Because I mean my mum buys you see it. the milk's just oozing yeah. out. Mm. Like I keep saying we're not trying to be like the Italians, but apparently basically if you're eating mozzarella, like you should get messy. You know, like yeah. it's, it's a, like this. Like this. <laughs> it um, is delicious. 
It's and there's that hint of kind of salt, like saltiness to it. And I think there's, thank you. I think there's almost like a, you mentioned mm. that kind of not bitterness, but a, yeah, a just, bitterness to mm. it. But it's delicious. Mm. And I'm definitely it's getting. In my mouth. <laughs> I'm definitely getting messy. It's lovely. But look, it's, mm. it's oozing out. It's mm. got loads of. And to have that literally like right there. The now imagine that on pizza. So the, the temperature on that one, mm. if I open this one a little fresh, should be more milky than that one. So as soon as oh wow, it's little, like almost like dough. Yeah. So that's the temperature, that's why as well. To preserve a little bit, we keep it at that temperature. But if you take it directly from the machine, it's basically... It's really stretchy. It's like pizza dough, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. But mm. yeah, that's not... Like what the majority of mozzarella, you, you know, mm. we are producing a quite a different. Completely. But this is what the Italians, you know, the authentic kind of, and, and if you go to, if you ever get the opportunity to get down in sort of southern Italy, Naples, these sort of places, it's. Get farmers weekly to send We'll be it. asking you for some contacts to go over there and have a look. Let's do a study tour. <laughs> no, it's, it's really cool. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm amazed at the flavour of that. I know so am I. Like, oh yeah, it's amazing. But no, but the texture amazing. as well, even the texture. I can imagine like cooking with that and putting it on pizzas and yeah. Like, it's almost you, you, you have to kind of let it. Um, well, the things I'm learning, as Juan says, about letting it come up to room temperature. Mm. Um, and if you are doing pizzas, you do almost have to dry it off first. You yeah. know, slice it or, or, or the wee balls of bocconcini are sometimes better so that. But. The flavour, like, yeah. is great. or in a salad with some oh, balsamic yeah. vinegar, yes. olive oil, uh, yum, really yum. Amazing. And I cannot believe I'm saying that as, yeah. uh, like, I'm, yeah, I'm a meat man, you yeah. know. <laughs> amazing. Well, oh, oh, thank you so much. Nice yeah, amazing.